Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about manual routing and board layouts uh, using Autodesk's Eagle 8.2.1 Premium. Uh, the reason why I mentioned the version is because I'm going to also show you a bug in the uh, routing and layout tools. Uh, so let's uh, start with a um, demo board, uh, the MSP 430F5529. So off the bat, it's, there we go. So there's the board. I'm going to rip up, sorry, rip up all the tracks. Now, the first thing I want to demonstrate is the uh, differential routing tool. So I'm going to use uh, the USB part as the example. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliberately, deliberately leave that here. Um, OK, let's start um, by routing uh, this differential. So the USB has two uh, D plus and D minus pins, the differential signaling pins. And before I started, I need to rename the pins so that the router can understand that these are differential. So it's going to be D underscore in and under and well, the second way is properties D underscore P. You can use either of the methods. You can even use the name tool and kind of uh, go ahead with that. Once I do that, just select on the route tool. And once I do that, it's going to pick up both of the tracks. So select the route. I'm going to go a bit crazy here. I'm going to go to the edge of the board. And uh, then I'm going to go all the way down here. And I'm going to I'm going to press escape. So only one pin is being used. Uh, give it a little extra length. There we go. And I'm going to route this the rest of it oops the, there we go escape one pin and bam so that's um, my route in uh, the differential mode now you can see that there's a difference between the lens I want and to add a meander so that the lens kind of match all I need to do is click uh, on the place where I want to add the meander I'm not clicking and dragging I'm just uh, clicking uh, and releasing and then moving my mouse until I get the best approximate so 100 uh, 399 100 there we go so that kind of uh, is okay in my view um, there we go so 100 there we go all right so there's gonna be some clearance errors here uh, now the now let's take a look at the bug bug number one uh, is I want to route this ground from here but there's no space on the board so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, move one of these tracks now typically the router should be allow me to kind of click here and then it should remove just press escape so it should be able to remove the extra uh, length by just clicking here and click and there we go so abort take object failed so if I click OK bye bye so crash number one so that's bug number one let me restart eagle alright so that's a bug I guess uh, if you try to uh, reroute a meandered uh, differential pair it kind of eagle always crashes I did it a number of times and it's doing it all the time so um, bug report to Autodesk about that uh, what I wanted to show you was since this uh, if this track is really near the edge of the board sometimes I just need to push it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the location where I want to start the reroute so I want to do it from here and I want this to go till here so I don't need to kind of rip up everything I just need to start re uh, uh, just drawing the new track and it kind of rips up the previous loop automatically all right, the next feature I want to demonstrate uh, is the follow me router. Um, so, And I'm also going to use some design rules to modify the behavior of the follow me router. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to route the ground pin. Uh, just, just an example. Uh, in previous versions, what we normally did was we used to click, 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 click. And then it could kind of uh, go, you know, it didn't really have a lot of brains and it would do exactly how you uh, manually made it to kind of route in this case as you can see if I want to route it between pins it's actually avoiding um, 
objects and it's not really crossing over so if I just go from here to here it's gonna automatically generate uh, I'm just double clicking here so it's gonna generate the route uh, it may not be a sane route but it kind of avoids ab obstacles and it's uh, and you can bypass that functionality by just clicking here and it would kind of do the bring the start routing from base uh, the ground pin right and <coughs> and there we go so it's found that 30 mil uh, clearance and it's now routing across with that let's change that behavior going to design rules changing from clearance oops sorry so six say it's 30 mils okay mm. where's the ground pin there we go I wanted to go here as you can see it couldn't find the 30 oh, that's why I was wondering it can't really find the 30 mil clearance so it's I can't go I can't go so it's gonna find an alternative route and uh, this is how you modify the behavior of your um, semi-automatic automatic router uh, using design rules as you can see if I double click here it's fine that it's found that 30 mil clearance here but uh, since this is ground and this track is ground so uh, it doesn't mind uh, a reduced distance there so that's how the uh, follow me and the manual routing works of course there's a there's gonna be no clearance errors here as well because this is a ground uh, pad and this is a ground track so it's following the design rules and it's kind of good let's take a look at the uh, uh, a, a, another bug with the uh, 8.2.1 version uh, under normal circumstances if I try to route from across so th the system should try and uh, I, I think it's using some of the ground plane or something but if I try to route this manually like this, it should typically say I don't want you to route that. Because if I try to route from this point onwards, you can see it kind of follows the, uh, it tries to avoid obstacles altogether. So let me see if I am doing this right. I kind of click it here. Yeah, it's set on obstacle avoid. Walk around obstacles, loop removal, right, loop off. So yeah, it's uh, another bug with the eagle. Uh, it should have uh, allowed. It shouldn't have allowed this to happen. It should have walked around. All right. The last feature I want to um, work with today is the auto router. Um, using the des uh, using uh, sorry using the design rules, you can basically tell it uh, so the thickness. Um, sorry the. Uh, clearances the thickness of the tracks and how you want uh, your router to kind of lay out things um, let's go into tools so this is a single-sided board I'm gonna do this simple thing um, I want to route it all on the bottom say uh, I'm gonna give it effort high and I'm gonna say continue and it says I'm got I've got 11 permutations uh, that I can work with so uh, it's moved up to 16 let's see uh, yeah so it's gonna take a bit of time to kind of uh, lay it out optimize and it's got 16 variations of the board so this is variation 1 2 3 4 uh, so on and so forth all of them are, have no VS because yeah um, it's um, a single-sided board so this is something you might want to do first route some part of it using single-sided and this is where design blocks really come into play where you can just mo you, uh, route a part of the design and then um, use differential pairs or some kind of bus systems to interconnect them I may not like all of the designs but normally um, I'm gonna just survey them I'm gonna pick one of the designs um, let's pick this and then I can after this I can just modify some parts of it some parts that I like some parts that I don't like of course I can do the same thing uh, with the two layers so auto router uh, click on automatic uh, it has the option for horizontal vertical diagonals and anything this was uh, a feature with the older versions of uh, uh, Eagle because the auto routing algorithms worked a lot better so you could have a um, top layer that could only do horizontal layouts uh, horizontal tracks and then you can have a bottom layer that could do vertical tracks and that way uh, you didn't have uh, tracks that were uh, inductively coupled that means you wouldn't have a vertical 
track on the top layer as well as on the bottom layer and they could not it couldn't uh, for high speed signals it could really um mess up your um day when it could inactively couple the signal from the upper layer to the lower layer um in this case i'm going to do just i'm going to demonstrate the uh high effort full 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 just continue start it's going to take a bit of time because it's just a small through hole component uh, small board it's not going to take too much of time but depending upon the size of your board and the complexity of the um board itself it's gonna take some time so let's take a look at the variations and you can see it has a, a 12 via variation up to a 4 via, via variation 42 vias as well uh, some may be aesthetically pleasing to you you may find you know, you, this is just a mess I don't want this so go through them ch choose the best uh, you know the one you can see so the most more or less the objective is to use the least number of vias and I can really go and uh, populate some part of the say put a ground plane down there and eliminate some more tracks and then optimize it manually as well so no um pressure on you to kind of automatically route ev uh, sorry manually route everything so rr can be something uh useful i personally prefer only one outer router and that's with uh well I'm, i won't i won't go into that um so this is uh, me taking a look at some of the manual routing features and some of the bugs uh, with the Eagle. Hopefully, uh, these bugs don't exist with the Windows version. I haven't tried the Windows version, so if somebody can uh, verify if uh, the Windows version has the same bugs, uh, we will put up a bug request and uh, with uh, Autodesk. And really, uh, I've been using Eagle for a while now, so taking a look at more uh, complex designs. Um, this is a power supply design and it has, you know, you can vary uh, track sizes, copper pores, let's do, do a rat's nest tool, rat nest. One more thing that I request Autodesk is to please make this menu kind of just stick there or can you add it to some way to customize this menu because this is really, really frustrating having, you know, some parts of it pop up, pop down. Ugh. Um, this is a PCB that I actually uh, got fabricated so there we go uh, so it, you can see there's a lot of bugs in it this is version 1 but actually the, I started with ARCAD and then moved to Eagle so Eagle is kind of staple um, for some projects and uh, I also use KiCad and ARCAD uh, I, ARCAD I don't use anymore but, uh, uh, other than my university work but beyond that uh, eagle is pretty much staple for me and uh, yeah uh, that takes care of the tutorial series and the review series for eagle so if you like the videos please please like and subscribe the entire write-up and the article is at element14.com thank you autodesk as well as e element14 for sponsoring uh, this road test and review so eagle uh, is thumbs up for me some bugs and uh, some uh, feature requests on, on this review. Thanks for watching.